All right, so I wanted to change my spark plug wires. I wanted to make them yellow, you know, to match the Honda emblem and to make it stand out a little. Um, I didn't find any YouTube videos on how to do this, so I'm going to make one. It's an 86 Rebel 450. Um, it's not your traditional way of how you would rewire a spark plug wire. So on this Rebel 450, you have the coil, and it has this piece that plugs into the coil, and it's threaded on, as you can see. So you unthread it, this takes it out of the coil. I have this one in the bottom one, but the left side goes into the top part of the coil, but this is just easier to unscrew and for demonstration only. So it unscrews and then the wire just pulls out and that's all it is. And then your spark plug boot obviously comes off like that. And this is what you have. So you have a, this nut, protective boot, and your resistor boot. These bikes are old. This boot is plastic. Be very careful with them. You want to reuse them. But be very careful because my other side just broke. And I had to buy new ones on Amazon. So for demonstrations only, well, to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you how to do it with this. But my other one broke. I was able to fab it up with some electrical tape but um like i said i bought some from ebay i mean from uh, amazon and i just i looked at this number i typed it in the amazon or google and it came up and i was able to get replacements so i bought two new replacements but it's very brittle plastic so just be careful when you reuse them because you don't want to reuse the ones they give you you don't want to use the ones they give you because they're not resistored it's not a resistor uh boot cap so anyway this is how you make the new wire obviously by the color you want i wanted yellow like i said i got the cloth but i don't really like it uh so i i also got yellow so this is basically how you you gotta take it apart like this hopefully the ca camera angle is good take the boot off careful with this boot like i said the shit just falls apart. So you take the boot off. I didn't have it screwed in, but this screws into there. See, it's a thread. There's a screw in there. And you just screw the wire in. But anyway, take the boot off. It's also going to have this insulator on the wire. I looped it up and I was able to take it off quick. But that's going to be on there. Strip the wire of the parts. Now you're left with this. Garbage. Keep it anyway like I do. Just keep it anyway in case you want to put it back to stock. If you break your boots, you're not going to be able to put it back to stock. But you know what I mean. So now you have the boot. You have the, the, the dust boot that goes over that. And you got the nut. So you take your old wire, measure it up. I'm going to give myself a little bit more. Measure it up. Cut it. I'm just using regular dikes. There's your wire. This old wire has a stop. So when you thread it into the coil, you're gonna turn this, obviously until it's tight, and then it's gonna hit the, the stop, and it's gonna push the wire in so far. But it's gonna hold it in. The new wire doesn't have a stop. So what I'm gonna use is electrical tape. So I'm gonna measure where the old stop is, about right there. 
And I already cut a piece, but I'm going to use a piece of electrical tape that I cut, you know, a was it quarter inch, whatever it is. I'm going to wrap it around the new wire to make that stop. Should have had music on. But anyway. Almost done. Bear with me. Also, another thing I want to add. I should have did it, but I didn't do it. If you got OCD and you want the lettering on the wire to show, make sure it's facing whatever way you want to do it before you put the ends on. But I really don't give a shit, so I'll just put the lettering down. So now you take your... That's going to go into the coil. Put your nut on. Now you got your stop. Now the other way, you put your boot on. Your protective boot. Take your resistor boot. Thread it into the wire. Until it stops. Eventually you'll get down the threads and it'll stop and get tight. And you know you're down. It ain't going to pull off. It's tight. It ain't going to pull off. All right, that's in there. Put your boot over the protective boot over the resistor boot. Move it up, spit on it, oil it, whatever you want to do. Put the boot over. Now you got your wire. Done. You don't have to crimp nothing on. Go to the bike. Put your wire in. And then thread it on. And it'll push it in. Demonstration only. It's going to be like that. I want to make sure it goes in off camera. Take your wire. Plug it into the spark plug. And you're done. So I hope this helps you guys who want to change your wire colors. Uh, I'm not too crazy about the cloth. Even though it does have a bigger hole than this one. But that's how you make your wires for the Rebel 450. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye.